Ignatian spirituality, of course, is the great heritage which Jesuits have to give as a legacy to every continent and to every culture to which we are sent. In the long run, um, in addition to, or I would even say above our schools and parishes and social centers, uh, what God's providence has, has invested in us and given to us as a legacy to share with the rest of the world and to share with all the churches is the rich heritage of Ignatian spirituality uh, expressed in the various forms and permutations of the spiritual exercises. So it's incumbent on me working with representatives from all of the other, from all the conferences to, uh, to continue to analyze, uh, evaluate, and build up contacts and build up uh, and, and, and to strengthen the apostolate of the spiritual exercises and all of the ways that we share Ignatian spirituality across the society. That's also a, a responsibility uh, that, uh, that comes to this secretariat. Scholars have made us very aware that Ignatius and Ignatius' spirituality and the forms of expression that it takes uh, are derivative, of course, are influenced by the great spiritual currents of his time. So if we look at the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius, if we look at his writings, we see uh, very clearly the impact uh, of, of the Franciscan spirit, of the brothers of the Christian, of the, 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 uh, of the, mo of the Devotio Moderna, uh, of different forms of uh, renovation that are flowing through Benedictinism in Spain. But what we see mostly in the spiritual exercises is the power of Ignatius' own direct experience of God. And this is, this confidence that God is to be experienced directly by each person, that God wishes to give God's own self to each person. This lies at the heart of the Ignatian um, inspiration. And the Jesuits assume and carry forth wherever they go and with whatever spiritual ministry uh, or with whatever apostolic ministry they're engaged. Our confidence from the time of Ignatius and then strengthened and consolidated by our own personal experience is that God is not remote, but that God does make God's self available and that God can be found active at work in all the events of our lives and in all the events of our personal history and in all of the events of, uh, of the world around us. This confidence that we are in intimate and constant contact with a God who is laboring and who is acting uh, propels us Jesuits outward following St. Ignatius uh, with a sense that we are laboring with Christ, that the God who sends Jesus on mission continues to send us ordinary, frail, sinful human beings on mission to bring the values and the proclamation of the kingdom. The power of the spiritual exercises is so great as a transformative instrument by which people find a new sense of their orientation, of their purpose, of the meaning for which they're created. The spiritual exercises have, have been validated generation after generation and across cultures as a means by which people come to a level of freedom and coherence in their lives that allow them to make intelligent choices and allow them to have access to their own deepest, holiest, most godly desires so that acting on these desires in concert with the community, they are able to make a signal contribution uh, to God's work in the world. It's no surprise then that Jesuits, when they're reflective and honest and, and aware of the depth of their own motivation and of the power uh, of our own spiritual tradition as we live it, as it's been given to us, that it is normal that we want to share that tradition and that we are able to see how it really does animate what we do in any ministry that we're involved in. So especially as the Society of Jesus expands uh, in areas where it, is, uh, where it is growing most rapidly, to think of Asia Pacific, to think uh, of, of parts of India, to think of uh, uh, where the society is, is, is continuing to experience great growth, to think of Africa, uh, 
where, where the, the church and the society continue to grow. The society there needs to be very, uh, very committed to being sure that we have in place opportunities for Jesuits and for members of the larger Ignatian family, which is to say people who, uh, who, who have a, a, a connection with the Ignatian tradition. We need to be sure that people have a chance theologically to have the resources they need through scripture and through the study uh, of the exercises themselves, Christology, the sacraments, to be able to be good uh, accompaniers, to be good directors of the spiritual exercises. So the society from here in our general curia, in our central governance, wants to be sure that throughout the society, uh, certainly in places where the society uh, like Europe or North America or parts of Latin America, where the society needs to renew its efforts to present to people a gospel, a Christ who is alive and compelling and positive and transformative, there we see that the exercises can play an enormous role in the revival uh, or the, in some places, refounding uh, of, of the church.